You have a YouTube channel mm -hmm. where you, you're not promoting, but you talk about drugs. That's true, yeah. How did you even came up with idea for doing that? Uh, well, actually, it, it's not my idea, uh, but we have a, a Dutch television program for 12 years now. It's called Spuiten en Slikken. Uh, so people started using drugs um, on television 12 years ago because the program is about sex and drugs. And then they came up with an idea to make an online program about doing drugs and show people what it does to your body. Uh, and that became Drugs Lab. Okay, uh, how many drugs have you tasted? <laughs> A lot. A lot. Okay. I don't even think, uh, I don't even know how much, but I think, yeah, well, 20, 25 or something like that. I, I don't know for sure, <laughs> but a, a, a lot. Okay, uh, so uh, the thing I was surprised about is the fact that actually your YouTube channel was uh, not sponsored, but approved by the Netherlands government, right? Well, actually it is uh, funded by the government. So the government pays um, the, the, the broadcasting station to make the program. So. Yeah, it, it's a crazy thing, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, when you uh, came to Serbia, there's a lot of people uh, from here who thought actually that drug in Netherlands is legal. It's not, no. right? No, it's illegal to have it, to uh, deal it, to buy it. So it, it is illegal in Holland too. Okay, so how, how is that even possible that government actually give you money to do that, to have a YouTube channel that speaks about drugs? Yeah, well, it's a bit of gray area because the government knows that we buy drugs, so it's illegal. But I think they think it's a good program, so they don't do anything about it. They don't fine us. Um, but yeah, it is illegal, but they don't do anything about it. And maybe that's because we have this television program for 12 years now. So it's kind of accepted in Holland, programs like this. Okay. So you're practically uh, tasting drugs by yourself and uh, actually in your videos show people uh, how those drugs are going to affect people. Yeah, and it's crazy, but we also show um, uh, we, we talk about the risks, we say what you shouldn't do if you want to experiment with drugs because anyhow people are going to experiment with drugs. So that's why we make this program to be open about it, to talk about it because that lowers the risks. If you don't know anything about a substance you want to try, the risks are very, very high. Okay, so the thing is, uh, people who want to try drugs are going to do that uh, no matter does your YouTube yeah. channel exist or yeah. not. Yeah, you get in touch with drugs s somehow, somewhere, so it's better to know what you're dealing with than don't know anything about it. Okay, so uh, you said that actually the best reason why you can try drugs is because uh, you do it for fun. What is the worst? Uh, to do it because you feel bad. If you're feeling bad or you're feeling insecure and you take a drug and you feel better, you don't solve the problem. There's a bigger problem behind it and you first have to be sure you solve the, 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 the core. And then if you have a nice uh, night out with your friends and you want to try something, or that's possible. But don't do it uh, because you feel insecure or bad or something. Why did you quit? Because I did drug lab for one and a half year. <laughs> and doing drugs in the same setting all over uh, uh, for one and a half year uh, was enough for me. I thought it's time for new things. Uh, no matter what kind of drug can affect differently to you yeah. and to me. True. Okay. True, but there's always... Um, you always know a bit what to expect because when you use an, an, an upper, you have three kinds of drugs, downers, uppers and psychedelic, uh, psychedelics. If you use an upper, it kind of works the same on every person, but of course you react differently, but there's a big difference between ecstasy and mushrooms, for example. Yeah. So that's true, everyone is reacting in a different way, but it's also a bit of the same, you know? Uh, yeah. It's an upper or downer or, yeah. Okay, how are you still alive though? Because, um, there are a lot of drugs that aren't that bad as, for example, alcohol. Okay. 
I did it in a safe environment. Uh, I was under medical care. Uh, I always knew what I was doing because I knew how much I took, uh, I, how much I should take. So the risks are so low. And of course you don't know what actually is going to happen and what you're going to feel when you're trying something new. But you have an idea and well, the worst drug maybe was alcohol for me. And alcohol is so heavy compared to uh, some other drugs. So there's a lot um, of misunderstandings about drugs. And that's what we want to take off. Thank <laughs> you.